One of the reasons I just love ethical hacking and penetration testing as a sub-discipline and a craft is it challenges you. It really forces you to learn new things. And, you know, you can never really reach this point in it where you know everything. Every, I wouldn't say everyone is a beginner, but in some ways when you face a new target, whether it's on a site like Hack the Box or in real life on a, an engagement, you are sort of a beginner. You may have a methodology. You may have uh, a way you do things. You may know of your tools. You have your distribution. You have your, your foundational knowledge base, but you still may come across something that you've never quite seen before. And that's just one of the things I love about it. It's, it's as if when you're targeting that system, you're targeting yourself in a way. As you look and explore and enumerate, you discover services that might be vulnerable, versions of software that might be vulnerable, but you also discover what you don't know. And, you know, that's one of the reasons, to be honest, I really love to learn on sites like Hack the Box because you know that the system's vulnerable, right? It's an intentionally vulnerable machine. The website has all these systems that you can spawn up at any time and hack them. Uh, but you just, you may not know what that vulnerability is, especially if there's not a write-up out there or you're not looking at the write-up. Um, you, you're forced to continue to learn new things to progress. And I'm, I'm not saying the whole industry isn't like that, but it feels like it's especially true in penetration testing and ethical hacking and any type of hacking driven job. You're constantly overcoming these hurdles that are mostly internal hurdles and in understanding that you lack. So as you develop that understanding, you further, you, you, you're furthering on a machine, right? Maybe you, you get, you get the initial foothold and then you need to further enumerate to get to, to privilege escalate, but it's always a learning process no matter what. And, you know, I, I, the other part is just, you have a better understanding of the vulnerabilities um, because you are realizing or actualizing the risk. So this is a big risk matter. You know, you we're talking about um, trying to help organizations and individuals understand what is truly something they're vulnerable to and that they need to prioritize in fixing. And the hacking aspect of that isn't just saying, well, I think, or it's, it's very likely that that could lead to a hacker getting in. You're actually doing it. So you're showing them the organization or the individual. I was able to do this and you're, you better be glad that I, I was the one that's found it first because someone with malicious intention, if they, you know, can do this, they, they're going to be able to, to do so much more damage. Um, so there's so much value in that. And I've grown to even see the hacking perspective as essential to everything in cybersecurity. Because isn't that what we're defending against? So why not have individuals who are have good intentions and care about you do that first? You know, even if it's just your IT team, your internal security teams, why not have them developing hacking and penetration testing skill sets so that they can constantly be out there looking for what's next and not just knowing what a CVE is and how to read it and to look at the security advisories out there, but to actualize the vulnerability and to see that it's not just in la-la land or you're not wearing a tinfoil hat, but that the things you're talking about are real, exist, and are actual threats. I love it. It's just an out-of-the-box world. You got to think outside of it. You got to continue to grow yourself, and it's a whole lot of fun. So I recommend learning how to do pen testing and ethical hacking. Use Hack the Box. I would say start there. There's Hack the Box. There's also Hack the Box Academy. I'm a big fan of, of Hack the Box. I have, I definitely have a bias there because, you know, I've done some work for them and with them and I partner with them on things. And I, I just admire the level of quality they put into their learning experiences. So uh, just go ahead and start on there. Maybe start with Starting Point. Um, use some of the Academy modules, the fundamental ones. Um, and then, you know, use some of my videos I got here on my YouTube channel. I do hack the box stuff on here as well. Uh, check those out and, um, you know, feel free to reach out to me if you ever need some help learning this stuff and keep learning.